Division in the red corner, representing Australia, 22 years of age from the Bendigo Amateur Boxing Club, Lyndon Hosky. His opponent from New Zealand, 27-year-old Andrew Tua, has had 80 amateur bouts, was the gold medalist at the 1995 Samoan Games. He got this far in the tournament. He had a walkover in the semi-finals. David Birchall of Australia was due to fight him. But he was suffering a flu virus for a couple of days. Battled through the quarterfinals. Couldn't come out for the semis. Similarly, Lyndon Hosky was due to fight Vanuatu and Harry Calloran in the semi-finals. But Calloran was awarded his quarter-final after his opponent was disqualified for a low blow. But he was counted out at the time. That didn't allow him to come back out for the semis. So both these boxers have had a night off and look fresh and raring to go as they get stuck into it. Two is a very powerful puncher. Very powerful indeed. Hosting's got to just stay away and, you know, do some work on the outside with that left hand. He can't get in and try and fight to her. Two in the blue singlet. Hosking goes down. A bit of a slip, but he was helped by a punch from Tua. Tua looking for that one big shot. Hosking in those eye-catching red boots. There's a nice counter right hand by uh, for Hosking from Australia. Tua came came in widely with a, a right and left hook, and uh, Hosking counter with a nice right hand. Hosking doing the right thing here. He's staying at arm's length. You know, he's, he's sticking out that jab, doing everything behind the lead. That's what he's got to do. That's that's good work by Hosking from Australia. a left uppercut. Austin coming back on the counter. To a nice right hand of the body there. Austin, a very busy boxer, ducking the head continuously from side to side. Trying to make it very hard. Chew up to land a clean punch. To a dig into the body very nicely and close. He comes back to the bottom of his own left hook. But Tua came over the sort of the left and uh, right hand. To a nice jab. <laughs> Both boys working very hard in close. Digging nice big, big uh, left rips to the body. Good left hook from Hosking as Tua missed with a couple. Just a warning against Hosking. Keeping the head too low in that exchange. Tua trying to get some vicious rips of the body in. Yeah, he's digging those body shots in beautifully. A snappy left lead on the bell from Lyndon Hosking. Hard to pick a decisive winner in that first round. Most definitely, yeah. Um, you know, both boys were landing with some good punches, um, some very hard punches. Maybe just a two because um, he was landing with some good, uh, nice, sharp uh, left and right rips to the body. But Bo most certainly anybody's round. Bo Gehring, the Australian coach, once again giving the instructions. This is the part of the round where Hosking ended up on the canvas. Tua fired out a left that only caught the side of Lyndon Hosking's headgear, and it was more his own balance which took him to the canvas. Yeah, I think um, I think Tua was um, foot was um, placed on Hosking's foot at that stage, and then he just fell over off balance. Good counter there, and that last exchange from Hosking as Tua came in with the uppercut. 
Scott Rossman was able to make him miss. Got away with a counter punch. Round two. This is the welterweight final. Best of three rounds. Ross, you've got to keep, keep working with that jab. Keep his man off. This is where Tua wants to fight. He wants to be inside. Second warning against Hosking for holding. Yeah, that's better. That's better by Hosking. Use that jab. Stay on the outside. Don't give his man a chance to come in close. Firing out like a piston and then gets it right away, which scores to the head of Tua as he was able to evade a couple of rips to the body. Another warning against Tua there. He's second of the round. Oh, good right from Hosking. Yeah, that was a nice counter right hand by Hosking. It was a lead right hand. I'm sure this is what um, Hosking's foot has told him to do. Get on your bike and work from the outside. And in this round, I believe it's working for him. There's another counter right hand by Hosking. Beautiful bunch. Two right leads. Both of them scoring in this round. Yeah, that's good work by Hosking. On the outside, two left jabs and a right hand. Both landed. Warning against Hosking for ducking down this time. Looked like a low blow. According to referee Hunter, it certainly was. Hosking boxing very nicely in this round. Picking up the points in my book. There's another nice short little right hand. But two comes in with the right and left rip. And he's been able to weigh, stay away for the most part from those which the body in this round from two up. And it's scored several occasions with a good right lead. Now, this is where Tua wants Hosking. He wants to cut off the ring and keep him in a corner. Hosking's able to turn and get away from it. Again, he comes back with a right lead and a good left hook to finish off the combination. A right lead once again. Oh, another low blow. This time, well, maybe it wasn't a low blow. I thought referee Hudson was going to take a point off Tua. No, I think it was a low blow. Body. The referee Hudson just giving him a chance. I'm sure a point's going to be taken off here. You're exactly right, Troy Waters. A second warning. Tua lucky to escape with only a warning there. That could easily have been a point taken off. Yeah, very lucky was Tua. There, yeah, nice body punches in close. It was a good uppercut that time from Tua. Hosking was going backwards. That once again was a slip. Tua came in down low. There's the bell to finish round two. Good round to the Australian. Yeah, most definitely um, the Australian round, but just towards the end of that round, Tua certainly landed with some great left body rips, and um, I think they were hurting the Australian Hosking. Good uppercut there from Tua to start that exchange, and there was that low blow. And then Hosking hits the deck. Once again, we're here. We're going to have a look at the low blow from uh, from Tua, and there once again, oh, that was definitely low. Oh, thank you very much. He'll seek from here. I wonder who he'll be talking in the morning. Well, it's a case of don't rub them, just count them. <laughs> <laughs> They'll need plenty of work. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Let's hope it hasn't affected Lincoln Hosking too much as they come out for round three. The last three minutes of the welterweight final. Gold medal awaiting the winner. It'll be interesting in the ensuing couple of months. Is this another warning for a low blow? I think it was. It is. And it's going to be a point deducted against the Kiwi. The referee Hudson emphatic with his ruling. 
two warnings in the previous round and that one at the start of the third. That might have just about ended Tua's chances. I think that's ended his chances for sure. He's, he's, got, he's going to have to knock um, Hoshing out from Australia now. And the way Hoshing's boxing at the moment, he's doing a good job of staying away from Tua. Right hand from Hosking there. That's Claude Batua. And he goes some vicious rips. Yeah, that's for sure. That's where he doesn't want to be. He doesn't want to get himself trapped in the ropes. Well, another left rip right there, and that one was, certainly was low. Referee Hudson has warned him again. I thought for a moment he's he been disqualified. He has. He's been disqualified. No doubt about it, there was two there. Tua goes to his blue corner and smashes the turnbuckle, but he's got no one to blame but himself. Well, no, that's for sure. Lincoln Hudson, the referee, certainly did a good job there. The punches definitely were low. He was worn on, you know, more than two or three occasions, and uh, he's done the right thing by disqualifying Tua. Let's have a look at this exchange again. There's one. That was the first one, and there's another one to follow it up. Here's the left hand. That one was even lower. Oh, they're, they're, you know, Tua certainly wasn't hitting, um, you know, digging those punches in low on purpose. Um, it was just the case of, he, you know, he was in close and uh, you know, his punches got uh, misdirected. There's a, that's a shock. And that, that's a painful punch. Wooshka and referee Hudson said, that is all. Too many times I've warned you. Andrew Tua, and unfortunately, you'll be disqualified from the bout. And that gives Lyndon Hosking the gold medal in the welterweight division. Australia's six of the tournament. Well, Andrew Tua's putting on a bit of an aerobics display in his corner. He might be something of a gymnast as well as a boxer. He certainly has the build of a gymnast. One of the best physiques of any of the boxers at these championships. Well, most certainly. Very, very solid puncher. And uh, we've got Costa Jew coming into the ring to uh, make the presentation for this, uh, for this contest. Kostyzou has the hands of Lyndon Hosking are raised high. Kostyzou, well known to boxing fans, as the IBF junior welterweight champion. Here presenting the gold medal to Lyndon Hosking. He is the Oceanic Amateur Boxing welterweight champion.